the, he's out on the piazza for us uh, here on Salford Keys. He's going to explain all. Hi, Charlie. Yes, Naga, thank you very much. You know that thing that broadcasters do sometimes when they do that, they really hold their ears. I'm kind of needing to do that now because you can see the hot ride behind me here. Attitude adjustment, it's called. I, it looks absolutely fantastic, as you can see. And in, in some ways, it's just an engineering achievement. I say just, but it's also a very personal story as well. Uh, three young men who've designed this thing, and let's introduce you to them now. We have Rogan Stewart and Ethan. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. And uh, Rogan, first of all, tell us what's so special about this vehicle. Well, this hot rod's been designed to be fully disabled access and drivable, so it's modified with hand controls, gullwing doors, maximum access, even down to the seat being the same height as a wheelchair for easy transfer. And it, it is a personal reason for you why you've done this. Just explain. Yes, my younger brother David is disabled. He has Down syndrome, SLD and mobility problems. And we both have grown up with the cars and the hot rods and things like that. And we, we love them both. But the problem he's had is disabled people, there's nothing out there for them in the scene. And so we thought... Why not try and prove to the public that just because someone's disabled doesn't mean that they can't have as much fun as someone else who is able? Well, it's, um, it looks absolutely fantastic, gentlemen. Tell me a little bit about the sort of design problems you face, the challenges. Mainly the engine. It's uh, it's a bit of a problem getting it started. Sometimes it ticks over, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, Yeah, it's... Uh... Well, sometimes it tries to kill us, but some, most of the times it doesn't. Well, but we've always got around the problem. As you can probably hear, it is working out. I'll introduce you to uh, David as well, who's here. Morning to you, David. Morning. How are you? Hi. What do you think? Can you, can you guys move out of the way a little bit so we can see the car at the same time? David, what do you think of the car your brother has um, My eye goes up a big head in Bam, like you are very excited, aren't you? Yeah, I don't think I love it, because... It is brilliant. I'm going to have a little look round, and I think... Um, Rogan, can you should have show me around a bit? Come come along this way, come on in. This is where it gets very noisy. Some petrol heads will be fascinated by the yeah, engine. We Tell have, us a little bit about it. We have a 4-litre LS400 Lexus V8. It's quad cam, fuel injected, 32 valve. Uh, it goes on to a four-speed automatic transmission. And tell um, us about the inside, because this is the important bit. And maybe, can you give it a little blast so we yes, hear it at full volume? Um, and I warn you now, it gets very loud. I would say, it's all hand controls. The throttle runs off motorcycle twist grip. There's no pedals whatsoever. It's a push lever to brake. Um, you've got an aircraft ignition system. Can you give it a little twist? Yeah, of course. By the exhaust, so I don't know if you can hear me anymore. And just tell me a little bit about the bodywork because it's kind of got a sort of slightly goth kind of feel to well, it. We were going off a sort of bomber style, um, trying to create something unique. The body is built from complete from scratch. We started with absolutely nothing, so we end up building the chassis, we built the body frame off that, and we end up skinning it with aluminium. And it's all riveted, all hand drilled, but it's a lot larger than a standard hot rod would be. And we were just talking to you, uh, your brother David there. Oh, look at that. It's just, you were worried that it was going to die out. But there we go. It does sound fantastic. Um, will David get to drive it? I mean, uh, Yeah, there's no reason why not. We're planning that at all the shows this year for the Hot Rods, we're going to take it. And if someone's handicapped, disabled, and wants to have a go, it's there for them to try. It's to prove to people that just because it's not out there commercially... Why shouldn't they be able to try it here? Well, congratulations to you and your colleagues. I think you've done a fantastic job. I'll leave you with a, a little uh, sight of the, this wonderful hot rod. And uh, I can confirm it was incredibly loud. In fact, I think I was standing I was standing exactly where that exhaust pipe was. It was probably completely the wrong place to be. My ears are still ringing. Uh, Naga, back to you. Gosh, you just can't imagine Charlie doing this. I can just imagine shaking him, shaking his ears. Charlie, sort your ears out. Come back soon. Looks brilliant. Looks absolutely brilliant. Right, it's time to talk to Ben because 